Cricket bosses have been blasted for banning phrases like ladies and gentlemen and young at heart in case they cause offence. Players, coaches and parents have been told make every effort to replace husband and wife with partner and swap young at heart with energetic or driven. It also includes a gender bread person diagram to help better understand gender identities. Look, I'm all for making people feel included, but this is, <laughs> of this is just too far. It's ridiculous. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's a bit mental. Um, energetic and Viagra sounds... <laughs> sorry, energetic sounds like Viagra to me. It doesn't sound like it's something that's going to be... Um, <laughs> Viagra? Yeah! Where energetic. Is your, where is Viagra? Mind, <laughs> that's, 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 that's that's not that's that you've got a dirty mind. Young at heart. Yeah. So they, it's just, I don't think it works. I just think it's... it's They've gone too far in the wrong direction. Uh, I mean, what? yeah, who, who asked for this? This is just ridiculous. Who well, are, who... I think I know what it might have been from. The English Cricket Society, I, I don't know yeah, what the, 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 the body, the board. Well, it's ECB. Cricket, isn't it? Yeah, they were under... A, well, they were in a lot of trouble, rightly so, um, earlier this year, with particular... Yorkshire. Yeah, yeah, over Yorkshire, um, a use of, of lots of racial mm. slurs. They're obviously trying to cover themselves, basically, mm. after being outed yeah. by Azim Rafiq for their endemic racism. Now, they are partly funded by the government, and the government have actually said, in, in light of an inquiry and a, a select committee, that um, they were advised to implement robust diversity policies in light of that investigation. Now... I think there is a huge difference between the horrendous racial slurs that were being used widely within cricket and what they're talking about here. But I suppose they're taking it so far so as yeah. not to potentially cause offence. I'm what you guys would call woke. I'm not offended. No, but, but, but I, think, <laughs> I think it's a fascinating answer, Nicola. I think it's complete cobblers, frankly. I mean, I, I do. <laughs> but but I, I, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you why. Because, I, as Kev just alluded to and, and JJ too, somewhere out there, is a, 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 a real human being who looks a bit like us. They've got an arterial system, a beating heart, a neurological system. And I they like function in every <laughs> way that we person? do, except that this actual per an actual person came up with this, <laughs> sat down and thought, <laughs> I've got a great idea. <laughs> I'm going to write gender person and what was it? You can't say young Energetic. at heart. We've yeah. got Energetic. to get rid of what kind of sick, twisted dodgepot <laughs> says you can't say ladies and gentlemen. I mean, yeah. what point? That's not diversity. That's insanity. You yeah, can't say husbands is, and wives. These... You have to say uh, partners oh, yeah, yeah. and spouse. Well, this is you know, that, there can nonsense. be a gender problem there. But so, so say husbands and wives. And spouses and yeah. partners. Well, husbands, you know, husbands and wives and the, wives. But, but this, is, is, it aimed at? this is just who, linguistic who would, fascism. Who would you be offended? Tell me what to say. Non-binary people. Is yeah. basically I think, the yeah, yeah, I, think yeah, I would yeah, have exactly. an issue with this. I oh, know I always would. But it I would bother me a little bit less if this happened <coughs> organically. Right. If it wasn't like you have to use this sort of language, if people just naturally use it like, oh, partners and partners, spouses, or what, whatever. I think that's the main issue with it. I, I don't think we should get too wrapped up in it because I think at some point stories like this, sometimes I feel like do become a little bit of a distraction. Yeah. Um, but, I, you know, I think that the bigger issue is the fact that it's not happening organic. And also it's, it's cricket, it's, it's sport, it's, it's a very male dominated. It's an example of the scourge of our time, which is corporate virtue signaling. So oh, organizations, right. companies, they somehow feel they have to preempt any possible problems by saying, oh, we'll refer to the gender bred person and uh, we, yeah, we won't say this, we complain. won't say but this. There is but there's no, there's no one calling for these terms to be banned. There's no one there moaning a, about it. There was a, a case of a train company. Do you remember this, where, who, where, where the conductor ladies said, and gentlemen. you know, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. and one guy who claimed this, I think he claimed this sort of invented phrase, mm. non-binary, which is mostly yeah. nonsensical, there's absolutely, literally zero, doesn't, really doesn't mean anything other than a political choice of how you want to identify. <laughs> and that's fine, by the way, but the idea you would, and it, none of that offends me, but the, uh, this guy mm. complained to the train company, and the train company's response was more, just equally as fascinating. They said... We apologise for using such language. They said, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Was this guy really offended? Of course he wasn't. <laughs> of course he wasn't offended. Oh, I am. Not for one second. <laughs>